Hi everyone, well we're starting back in the uh, editor for part two of this to actually find the Sakura Haruno um, outfit which is actually quite difficult to spot as well. There is a specific top and a specific uh, bottoms that fit together and in order to spot that um, you know it takes a little bit of doing but you you know you get used to it eventually you kind of see where the top is cropped and if you look at the bottoms you can see where the bottoms are roughly speaking relative to the top so you get some idea of how to match these things up so let's go straight in let's get um, Aisha to have a second outfit and if we just pop into here and do the edit like we did before then here on this second outfit we'll just drop straight into a tire we're going to do this second part and put the Sakura Haruno um, outfit into here. So let's get straight on and jump in. And from inside here, we just need to drop straight into edit attire, into the clothing. Again, on the if we go and pick the lower body first, we can drop into the bottoms there. And um, by dropping into the bottoms, uh, sorry not the bottoms it's the wrestling tights I do beg your pardon and uh, down to here oops past it there so you can't actually do that so it says get rid of the outfit so select yes and then it's gone and you end up with this outfit here um, so the first thing that you you need to be able to do then is to actually then change the color um, to the colour that you want. Um, in my case it's a study in Scarlet so we're just going to pick that and accept that and again with the second colour we're just going to do the same thing again. So we've got that, accept that um, and yeah we can see that it's all looking good in relation to what we want. If you want it to be different to how it looks you can pick something else on the material if it's leather or whatever. In this particular case I think I just leave it as the default. Is there a difference between that and the leather? Yeah um, there is a little bit of a slight difference so if you do want to go with that again once again you can and select it. Uh, I'm not saying it's important to do that, I don't think it is but you could. Um, I happen to like that look, it's good. Um, so that's that and if we accept that and drop out we'll come back for the boots we know about boots and how to do those so in the upper body um, you want the I think it's the tops and you need to drop into here you definitely want this rightmost column I'm not really sure which one it is I don't think is it that one yeah it could be yeah this is the one yeah that's the one you can sort of see how it's fitting together um, it sort of sits in exactly the right place and fits and meets in the right areas to where that one ends so um, that's about the nearest that I have found you might find that that one suits as well um, which you could use but it doesn't meet exactly look so that's definitely the one that I think I use for this particular outfit so if we select that one select the colour so now we're going to stick with that one um, I think that's the one as I say, you know, if you've got these sort of linked together, you know, you can pick any one that actually just mixes or works well. You can see that you don't really see much of a join there by the time you put these together. You have to work out what's going to work and what isn't, roughly speaking, based on how it's going to sit and um, come up with an effective um, look that you want. Obviously, again, we can just drop into tops. And if we want to be able to come back and do this, just mark it or with a star there so if we wanted to use that one this is the other one which I believe could be the one that I used with the Sakura Haruno outfit which is that one which is very very similar uh, but has a shallow um, the back's more full I should say than that one so if you go back to that one and look at that one yeah uh, oh no they're both about the same not much to pick between the two Okay, 
So you can store it basically is all I'm saying with that. So we're just going to come out of that anyway. Uh, we know what look we've gone for and, and what we want. So yeah, there we go. So that's effectively the outfit that we're looking for. And um, yeah, job done. Looks really good, neat, effective. You can add a jacket to that or whatever. Um, that's it really. Again, you can just drop out of that, accept that. Uh, just to change those boot colours again, as I say, you can just select the colour that you want to copy into there and then just change those into the two squares at the bottom uh, just to get the overall matching effect and accept that and just save that as a look. And there we go, and Aisha now has the Sakura Haruno type look or outfit that I've assigned to her and um, also the Nina Williams tribute outfit and that would represent the gear pack for Aisha maybe uh, but we've still got a slot that we could use uh, if we wanted to give her uh, again another look to use we'll just go back and then just say that accept it I'm just going to save it in the roster job done really that's it so there we go, hopefully that's given you some ideas to uh, the things that you can do with editing. Uh, you'll have to excuse the dog, he, he likes to uh, make a bit of a noise. But anyway, that's effectively it. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, edit and um, learnt something from uh, the, the things to, to actually look for and do when you're setting outfits up. And um, until the next time, I'll see you then. Bye.